Hmm, only five bathrooms. That's not gonna work. I need a different bathroom for every day of the week. Oh, hey! Didn't see you guys there. AP here, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update before we got into today's figure review. You might be asking yourself, why is AP in this hostile, non-animated environment? And that's because I'm currently staying at my parents' house as I continue my search to find a place of my very own. But honestly, that's okay. I mean, my parents have some pretty cool things that uh, I, can, I can show you guys right now. We got fish. Silly fish, you don't go on walls, you, you go on streams. We got, we got doges. Hello, girls. <laughs> we got corn galore. Hey, what up guys, corn here. We even have a pool. This is pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty lit around here, to be honest. Just trying to find that right place, you know, somewhere that fits inside of the anime YouTuber's budget. All right, so we're gonna set the maximum price to $3. There we go. But that's enough house talk. Let's get into the figure review. Enjoy. Oh, also the uh, P.O. box is back open, so if you guys want to send me some goodies for the next Weeb unboxing, then check out the information down in the description. And remember to hit that mother fucking life, life button, like button. What is happening? We haven't even started the video yet. Deploy! Why is it so short? Why is the table so short? Did I lower the legs? I mean, obviously I did. Hey guys, it's back with another figure review with my adorable table. Whew. Are we too far away? We might be a little bit too here lower. There we go. Does that look good? I don't know. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for a stopping by. Today I am excited and I know I've said that in multiple videos in the past, but I am. I am actually excited for this video. And you guys might be wondering why, and that is because we are gonna be opening two figures today. That's right, two figures, both of which I have been waiting months to do a review on for you guys at home. And that, of course, would be the Q6 mouse unit, Annette, and last but not least, of course, the goddess herself, the Q6 mouse unit, Liliana-san, Oh man, you guys don't think there's a god out there? Well, checkmate atheists. These perfectly dark-skinned waifus I've been waiting a long time to not only own, but to do a video on, so I'm really excited to finally get into these. I like Q6, I like mouse unit, so it's gonna be interesting to see what they did with some of my favorite hentai ladies out there. Before we get into the actual figures themselves, here is a closer look at the packaging they come in. And as you guys can see, it's it's quite interesting. I like what Q6 has done here. They've actually taken some of the original panels from the Dojin itself where Liliana and Net were made famous, but they've also accompanied that with uh, photos of the actual figures themselves. So I think that's a really cool thing to do. It's a good balance. You guys know me. I like seeing the original concept art for the figures themselves on the box. So I think these are really cool. It's actually quite practical too, because if you're ever on like a road trip or something, you need something to read, you can just get out your Liliana San box and just be like, oh, you know, that's... That's how it all happened. Packaging-wise, they both look great, but I don't think uh, any of us are here to look at the packaging of the figures. So let's go ahead and bust these open. Knife, please. If you guys are curious on where these figures are from, uh, Liliana-san in the larger box here is from the Hentai series. My mom's calling me, hold on. Okay, no problem then. Okay, sounds good. Love ya. Bye. If you guys are curious as to where these characters are from, Liliana-san here in the larger box is from the godlike hentai series Wagaya na no Liliana-san. I don't know, something like that. Just, just Google it. You'll figure it out. Annette is also from a hentai series. What's, what's Annette's hentai called again? It's kind of nice having my computer here. I can just look up hentai on the, on the go. Oh, that's right. It's, it's Tonari no Le 
no Annette San. That's what it's from. I'm not I'm not as familiar with that one as uh Liliana San. I'm just gonna close out of that now. That's gonna be fun to censor. But yeah, if you guys are curious as to what the characters are from, those are the series. Feel free to check them out in your free time. It is quite uh, quite the journey. I mean, I I don't know which one you guys want to open up first. We could open a net first, I guess, if you guys really want to just disappoint me. Or we could open up Liliana first. So we could we could you know open 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 open. We could open up this one. Open up this one. Open up this. One. Up this one. Oh, you guys want to open up Liliana on first? Perfect. See, that sounds good to me. Do I have to censor this? Does it actually show anything? I actually didn't really think about, like, if I would have to censor this or not. I don't know. Who cares? Here's the first look at the Annette. No. Here's the first look at the Liliana San figure herself. And uh, she's looking, she is looking quite nice. Liliana, honestly, is one of my favorite uh, hentai characters of all time. I love her personality. I love how she looks. I love her big old Freaking beautiful eyes. Ooh, she's shiny, boys. She is shiny. Oh, it's just like, just like caramel, you know? Is that racist? Oh, okay, no, I'm definitely gonna have to censor this. I wasn't, I wasn't, sh I wasn't sure, so. Here is the first look of the figure out of the packaging for you guys. And as you can see, she's shiny, but she's not overly shiny. She's got a good shine to her. Like, like you probably couldn't use that as like a mirror to shave, but it's, it's pretty close. Here is the actual pad that she sits on. She doesn't come with a plastic base. It's more of a kind of a pillow meme. It's actually quite big too. I wonder what, I wonder what animal this came off of. It feels like a wampa. I feel like this is what a wampa would feel like. I like the word wampa. Oh, whoa, that's, that's quite coarse. Okay, I have no clue how this star nipple science works how how is that supposed to mm. there's a lot of good butt figures out there and i've reviewed quite a few good ones in the past but there's something about just a a handful of butt you know just that just that handful of raw booty and this is probably one of the best figures for that if you are interested in in that and that commodity the skin tone is absolutely perfect and that's one thing i was curious to see if it was going to translate well from the hentai into a figure because uh, in the hentai it does look a little bit different than what you would expect. I love the look of the clothes. I love how everything is really tight on her and uh, it's really just showing off the rest of her, her beautiful features even more. But overall, I think the figure looks really nice. I love the tone, all the different colors. I like the base too. I think that looks really cool, especially with this figure design. She is pretty, that's, oh, that's the view. That's the view everyone wants in their life, right there. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. It is, uh, it is very warm here in California again today, so and this mop of hair on my head is not helping. You know what we could try is, uh, my hair might be long enough for a man bun. Do you guys think that I could pull off a man bun? I'm sure my mom has a, uh, has a hair band. Let's, let's explore this. I don't really know how to, I don't really know how to do this. I guess you just kind of pull your hair back, grab the hair, and you just put the hair through there and then twist. Ow. And then you just, I have the sudden urge to go to the park and do yoga. Moving on to figure number two, we have the Annette-san figure. And I really do like Annette as well. I don't like her quite as much as Liliana-san, but uh, she is, uh, she's pretty adorable. Her hentai is a lot different compared to Liliana-san, so it really comes down to what you like better out of your hentai material. I don't know, you guys let me know. Do you guys like Annette better or do you like Liliana-san? What, what figure would you like to see more of in the future? So I can, I can take that into consideration. Slash not, because I'm just gonna buy more Liliana-san figures. All right, so it looks like we have the same exact kind of carpet base as uh, as the Liliana-san figure. Dude, it would be awesome to have chest hair like this. I'm like, man, ah, it's so hot today. All that lumberjacking and four-wheeling really, really tired me out. Oh, this one is, uh, this one is quite different compared. Oh, it's heavy. 
This one's really heavy compared to the uh, Liliana-san one. I mean, the Liliana-san one was, was pretty solid, but this one... Whew! This one's a workout. All right, there we go. We got her all, all positioned on her base correctly. And I'm just gonna turn her around there. I don't, is that too far? Can you guys see nipple? Leave a comment if you guys can see nipple from that angle. First impressions. God damn, this figure is, is heavy. I mean, the Liliana-san figure was quite solid as well. That's something I forgot to mention. But uh, this figure is like twice as heavy as that one. It is. She is solid. I think it's her hair. She has a lot more of this kind of flowing hair compared to the Liliana-san one, so I think that's where all the weight comes from. Honestly, I almost like this pose a little bit better compared to the Liliana-san one. I think if you displayed the Liliana-san one correctly, it would look really good, uh, but this one's a little bit easier to kind of show off in your collection. The skin tone on this one isn't quite as shiny compared to the Liliana-san one, but uh, it might have just been sitting in the box longer, it was a different production run. The actual color of the skin is, is perfect. They, they did a really good job on that, uh, bringing that over from the hentai. But yeah, really simple yet uh, really nice figure for both of these. I love the poses. I love what they did with the characters and how well they turned out. So uh, if you are a fan of either one of these characters or either one of these hentais, I highly recommend getting these figures, uh, especially if they are in that sub $200 range. It is also nice having a couple anime figures that are a little bit outside of my norm, something that's a different skin color or a little bit more of an aggressive pose. So I think uh, that'll do quite well with the rest of my collection. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference in the skin tone now, especially with the light on it. Um, and that's something I'll definitely show in the B-roll once I get to that, which I... I think I hear, I think I hear it coming now. And here is a closer look at the Q6 mouse unit, Annette and Liliana-san figures for you guys at home. Enjoy. What impresses me with figures is small detail, especially when you get into this price point. And, and what's really nice about this Liliana-san figure is, is her thumb right here actually makes an indent in her, in her booty. She is so thick that the mere pressure of her thumb creates an indention in, in her butt. That is quality. All right, you guys, that's all I had for today's video. Thank you so much for checking out these Q6 Annette and Liliana-san figures with me. It's been a video I've been wanting to make for several months now. Remember, all the links to my social media will be down in the description. I have my Discord down there. I have my Instagram. And the P.O. Box is back open. So if you guys do want to send me a package, a letter, whatever it might be, uh, the P.O. Box will be open for some time. Thank you also for over 40,000 subscribers. That is a, a crazy number, and it, it amazes me that we've come this far. And I can't wait to see where we go next. So thank you once again. I do appreciate every single one of you. I have tons of videos coming. I, I am not slowing down because I'm just at my, my ma's and pa's house. I mean, I got... I got Neko's. I got Sonico's. I got this random girl. I didn't even know what she's from. Tomo... Asama? What? I just got her because of that absolute dump truck there, and I, I don't use that term often. So I got plenty of videos in the making, a lot more to come, and I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace.